Ditch the fairy tale, princess. It's time to step outside the status quo and blaze your own trail. The path littered with setbacks, successes, and newfound passions. Why? Because when you break away from the script, you start to pursue a life by choice. One that is all yours. Live unscripted and rewrite your life. Welcome back to the podcast. I am coming to you post podcast interview on someone else's show. And I'm feeling called to address some of the stuff I was asked on this other person's podcast. And now it's always such a privilege to get to be on someone else's show. They're sharing their time, their energy, their community, their audience, and allowing me to show up fully as myself and pour into their audience and community, which is awesome. It's so powerful and so cool how this whole podcast thing works. You are here listening to me. We are here together. I don't know what you're doing right now. I always am curious. Are you out for your walk? Are you working out? Are you in the shower? What? Where are you right now? Girl wants to know, what are you doing? Because I usually listen to my podcast first thing in the morning on my walks or in the evenings on my walks because I can do something, but then also be fully tapped into the words. And it generally feels like it's always the thing I need to hear. And if it isn't the thing I need to hear, I just hit pause. I go back to the episode maybe later or maybe never. And then I go look for things that are resonating with me at that moment, or maybe I need support around. But isn't it funny? Like sometimes you don't even know what you need in certain moments, but it just like falls in your lap or your ears. So maybe this will resonate with you too. I hope it does. I got asked this question on this episode today with this person. And I actually got asked it two weeks ago when I was on someone else's episode or podcast. And it was the question around something I have in my bio. And I call myself one of four things on my bio if you go to my Instagram. But I refer to myself as a space holder. I feel like the majority of my community and listeners would understand what that means. I was asked this by two different men. What does being a space holder mean? And I think if you're in the beauty industry, you 1 million percent understand what it means to hold space for somebody, especially your clients, because that is literally what we do. You are someone who holds a massive amount of space because people come into your space with their energy with their desires, their wants, all of the all of their things. And it is up to you to not only deliver a beautiful product via the hair, makeup or whatever service you provide, but also to become their friend, their companion, their listener, their supportive whatever, the person who helps them communicate with you better so that you can give them what they need. It is a massive amount of space to hold. And for many years in the industry, I didn't have those words to use as to what I was doing, right? We sometimes joke that we're therapists or that we're, I don't know, you end up being very close to a lot of your clients, especially if you work in a service-based industry where you touch people. And a lot of coaches I know listen to this podcast too. So in, in a lot of ways, you are doing the same thing, whether it's via coaching call, whether it's your programs, any sort of space you're holding for somebody else makes you a space holder also. And the reason why I put that title in my bio was because I want people to understand that when they are in my world via social media or here on the podcast with me, that I am holding a special space just for you. I create content for you. Also for me, because generally speaking, I... I'm sharing my experiences. I'm sharing my expertise. I'm sharing my know-how. I'm sharing my fuck-ups. I'm sharing my mistakes. I'm sharing my life lessons in order to help you understand a few things. One, that you're not alone. Two, that people like me, I'm going to air quote that, me, people like me, are just like you. That even on our best days, we still struggle with some shit. And that even sometimes when it looks perfect on the outside, it probably really isn't. Just like your life really probably isn't perfect. And we have to have those seasons of ups and downs in order to appreciate the ups. And if you're someone who feels a lot, who deeply feels things, you understand that you deeply feel the lows 
but you equally deeply feel the highs. And I recently heard Lori Harder talking about this, one of my mentors. She has a podcast called Earn Your Happy. She was being interviewed on another podcast called Butterfly Season with Aisha Marshall. And they were talking about those highs and lows and about being someone who deeply feels. And I truly believe that just about anyone in the service-based industry deeply feels. And it's in our feels that we create stories, we create beliefs, which turn into our behavior patterns, which create our life. And I say all this and share all this today because I got off that podcast episode wondering if anybody else wonders what space holder means for me in particular. I've held a lot of space behind the chair for people. I've held a lot of space in the gym for my clients over the years when I was a personal trainer. I feel a massive responsibility here on this podcast to hold space for my guests to share their expertise and in turn pour into you so that you can feel seen and heard and loved and understood, right? I don't take it lightly. And that's why I've rabbit holed down and learned to be a breathwork facilitator, to learn more about human design, to learn more about NLP, neuro linguistic programming, to learn more about what it looks like to be a better communicator and partner. And I think at the end of the day, that's what we're all trying to do is learn how to be a better version of ourselves in so many different ways. And I've been so busy with this podcast interviewing guests that I realized I hadn't done a solo episode in a really long time. So I'm sorry for that. I know episode 200 was a solo episode, but it's come to my attention that we don't often give ourselves enough credit for what we do know and for the shit we can't help people with. And so if that's you, know that you're not alone. I'm right here with you. Even though I may have decided to start my podcast before you, I feel like this podcast platform has really helped me connect my voice to who I am. It's given me a voice by showing up consistently over the last two and a half years. I think we as a society, we as women, we as people put so much pressure on outcomes that we miss the whole fucking point which is the process and the journey and the self-discovery that happens when you put yourself out there. If you already knew what was going to happen, like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. It's going to be successful. And then what? Where would the joy be in that? Where would the pride or the self-respect or the self-discovery happen? It wouldn't because you wouldn't have had to go through anything in order to get there. And we have all been through shit in many ways, around many different things in our lives. And from any one of those experiences, you can start to share. And I'm not here to bully you into starting a podcast. I'm not here to talk you into creating another stream that people can learn to know, like, and trust you and connect with you. But maybe this little pep talk slash girlfriend chat will allow you to see that your stories And your experiences are important. And how you decide to share them is up to you, whether it's via social media, in a woman's group, starting your own networking community, sharing with your clients, talking with your team if you run a team or if you have a salon. But it's what makes you you. And in the last couple of weeks, I've had more people say to me that my brand is authentic. That what you see in real life is what you see on social media. And to me, that is the biggest compliment I could ever ask for. And guess what? I wasn't asking for a compliment. I wasn't asking for any validation in these couple of conversations where this came up. They were people who have known me for a long time in, in, in my fitness world and watched. People are always watching even if they're not liking and they're not commenting and they're not leaving you ratings and reviews and they're not buying your shit or sharing it, 
they're watching. And so if I only showed up on the days where I knew I would get an external like or a comment or a purchase from somebody, I'm in it for the wrong reasons. I'm not here for the vanity metrics. I'm not here to make money off of other people's shit. I show up on this podcast and in real life to help you understand that if maybe she can do it, then maybe you can do it too. This is always and forever will be a come with me, not a look at me. That's why I'm so vulnerable and raw and real, not only on this podcast, but on social media. And if you get the pleasure <laughs> of meeting in me in real life, you'll know I'm the same exact person in real life. Start there. Stop trying to do anything like anybody else. Own who you are. Own your life lessons and your expertise and your experiences. They are yours and yours alone. And if it's on your heart, if it's on your mind to share that with people in order to help them feel seen and heard, my friend, you are a space holder too. And we need more people in this world to hold space so that people can feel less alone and less like, what's the point? Why am I even here? Because more and more of you, us, deal with that depression and anxiety around what's the point. And if you're a content creator, if you're an accidental entrepreneur, a solo entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, you understand some days what I'm talking about. You're literally questioning, what the fuck am I doing this for? But when I peel back the feels and I get out of my own way, I am doing this to not only help myself, but to show somebody else what is possible. And I will forever stay committed to that being my why. Not only do I want to show you what's possible, I want to show my son what's possible, and I want to prove to myself what's possible. And I can only do that through action. And sometimes that action takes me down the path of, oh, fuck, that was the wrong action. (laughs) But I learned something, and hopefully life redirects me in a slightly positive, not-so-painful way. And I, and that's what's happened. We're just coming off the heels of my very first retreat, the chill the fuck out retreat. It was magical. It was amazing. I could pick apart some of the things that didn't go the way I wanted, like the sun never coming out for three days on our beachfront property. But aside from that, the women that showed up, the guest yoga teachers, our breathwork facilitators, our massage therapists that came in held so much space for this group that people were actually able to chill the fuck out. Time after time in different various pockets of the day, I heard women say to one another or to me, I actually feel relaxed. I actually feel like I can chill out right now. Who knew that's what we really all needed was a sacred container to chill the fuck out. So you best believe Another one's getting curated and put on the books now. I will let you know when that date is released. And when I figure out all the all the itinerary around that, you'll be the first to know. If you're interested in coming to the next Chill the Fuck Out retreat, just text me the word retreat to 619-332-3045. Yep, just text the word retreat to 619-332-3045 and I will give you all the deets as they come. But that way I can segment you into a separate group and just text the group who wants to hear about the retreats privately. You'll be the first to get the invitation when that launches. Also, as you guys know, I have the Start Your Damn Podcast course for any aspiring podcaster to go from idea to launch. That is available for you. Just click the link in my bio or scroll down to the link in the show notes. If you have any questions around that, just message me. I would love to hop on a call and see if podcasting is what you are meant to be doing right now. But if you know in your heart that it is, grab the course, go through it. Book your two calls that you get with me. It's included in the price of the course. And let's get you unstuck and take that idea and actually get you launched, right? So you can call yourself a podcaster. You can step into that energy of holding space for other people like I know you are meant to be doing. And the last piece that I wanted to announce on this episode is that my partner and I have created a media agency called Media Unscripted. We are a full podcast service agency where we help you manage and produce content and really strategize and plan on how you're going to show up for your podcast, how you're going to grow. 
if you want to monetize your podcast and what the plan is to help you use your podcast as a form of leverage to grow your network, help build your intimate relationships with your audience, help create some brand awareness in there. Maybe you just want to inspire and educate people and use it as a hobby piece. I love that. So if any of this is resonating with you, just scroll down, click the link in the show notes and know that anything you see me doing, anything in me only exists because it's also in you. And if you need any help or support, reach out. You can text me the word help to 619-332-3045. That text number is listed in the show notes below. Just text me the word help and I'll check in on you and see how you're doing. If it's a podcast you want to start, text me the word podcast. And if you're interested in the retreat, text me the word retreat. And as you guys know, like being able to spend this time with you on this podcast means the world to me. And the fact that you tune in and allow for me to get to do something I love so deeply is so appreciated. I love you for showing up on this show with me. I love taking, I love that you take the time to invest in yourself by listening to podcasts and showing up. Tag me, show me what you're up to. Let me know how life is. Reach out. Your girl loves to say hi. And if you love these episodes, if you love this podcast, my biggest ask is always to just quickly run over and leave a rating and review over at Apple, iTunes, Spotify. Let me know you love this. Share it with somebody and tell me what you want to hear more of. And I can't wait to start hearing more from you. Which one of your girls needs to hear this one? Send this to someone who could use a smile, some encouragement, and a little love from this edgy podcast host. Much thanks and all the love.